Welcome everybody. Yeah. Um, the topic I wanted to talk about, I am very, very um, passionate about it because, you know, everybody today, we're doing vegan food, natural food, uh, plant-based food, and we don't have no idea why those things are good for our bodies. Um, somebody just called me on the corner. He said, ah, I've been doing a vegetarian diet, but sometimes I got lost. I don't know why I'm doing it, but I feel good. I said, well, I will tell you why you're doing it and why it's good for your body. First and foremost, I don't know if everybody, if everybody is aware that life was incubated in Africa. It's like God chose a location to do the human fertilization. And he chose a location, and that location happened to be in the tropic, where the sun shined brightest. I don't know if any of you have been in Africa. Uh, it's almost like 120 degrees. And if you go there, you probably have to walk around naked just to uh, contain the, uh, the heat. So the question is, why did life start in such a hot location of the world? Why did God choose that particular location? And the reason why God chose that location is going to influence your diet. So, the reason why vegetable seem to do good in your body is because you all are sons of the sun, sons and daughters of the sun. And of course, we made a religion out of it. We worship the sun which a lot of people don't know, that we worship the sun. In Germany, when you walk by somebody on a sunny day, they'll tip their hat towards you in respect to the sun. In India, they built whole temples. So many of you that have been to India will notice they built temples to the sun god. And of course, Christianity is a religion of sun worship. I don't know if any of you know. Horus is a sun god. And when you finish your prayer, you say, Amen. That's Amen Ra, the sun god. I don't know if any of you know that. <laughs> so, when we're talking about the sun, the story of the sun influences your religion and also influences your diet and influences your health. So this is not just an African story. Most people that saw the topic, going back to the root, probably thought, I'm coming to talk about going back to Africa to help the poor. <laughs> That's not the reason that I'm doctor. The root I'm referring to in the topic goes to talk about the fact that the first humans were incubated in Africa. That's the root that I'm referring to, not to go to do some missionary job, work over there. So. Why would anybody want to eat this? You, you couldn't see the other thing? Somebody took it? If you look at this thing, you see that it's green. And this green comes from chlorophyll. And chlorophyll comes from the sun. That's the sun's influence on the plant. So, when you eat this, because we all were made with the sun energy. If a woman is pregnant and she does not have vitamin D, that baby will have a little problem. I don't know, women know this better than men. So, since the sun is so important in your system, what is the role of this sun, by the way? Why the sun? 
when we talk about why the sun, then you know why you eat this. You need the sun because we were incubated in a hot tropic area. It goes in our DNA. So for us, we have this black pigment. And for those that left a long time ago, they have a lighter skin because they left that location and went to a more cooler area. Therefore, their nose went up this way so that the heat will not go in the, the cold weather will not come in. So their nose, that's why you Europeans and Americans, that's why your nose goes up. You don't want all that cold going in here. And for us, ours go down. We need a lot of air because it's hot. That's how our nose goes down. All this all have something to do with the way the sun affects me and you. So you see a black person, we're sitting right there in the oven. And our body shows it by showing more pigment, which is what we call melanin. I don't know if any of you realize that melanin plays that important role. Your body makes melanin, and that melanin produces melatonin, which helps you to sleep and have a good sleep. The melatonin helps your pineal gland, which then enhances your third eye, where you have your clairvoyance, and you have your uh, people that are into psychic, you have synchronicity, you have all that, all because of the sun. So when you, when you absorb the sun, it goes in, it helps you with cancer cure and all kinds of things. Why? Because your DNA was made in the presence of this thing called the sun. Therefore, the Asian people learned to worship it as God. So when you go in and you see Jesus, that's just a representation of the sun God. I don't want you to leave your churches. <laughs> it's really the truth. Your Christianity came from the worship of the sun god Horus. That's how important the sun is. So when we're talking about going back to the root, it's like visiting your birth places, your ancient birth place. And that ancient birth place has some diet that goes with it. We have first generation some byproduct that means when the sun hits your body it metastasizes it and produces melanin when the sun hits the plant it makes chlorophyll this is first generation the sun didn't have to hit something else before hitting the plant, the plant absorbs it just like you see it out there. They absorb the sun directly to make chlorophyll. When it hits your skin directly, it makes melanin and helps your immune system. Now, when it hits water, it's very interesting what it does to water. When the oceans were drying up, the little Water left there, the sun hit it so bad for millions of years that they became rock and crystals and made what we called those rock crystal salt. Millions and millions of years. So when you take the Himalayan salt, which is pink, which is what I was looking for, I was bringing a sample. When you take it and you dissolve it in water or you put it in your food, food, you're taking raw sun, just like you're taking chlorophyll. You know, you could buy chlorophyll in the, in the whole food store and introduce it in water and you drink it. Some people just drink dead water. So the best thing you do, you buy a concentrated chlorophyll, you introduce a drop or two in water and it turns green and you drink it. You are drinking the ingredients that you are made with. Nobody really knows why. Why? We all are doing vegetarian diet. This is the point. The point is like reinforcing your DNA. 
the important thing about eating the vegetarian food is that when you eat it, your body recognizes that this is the food that is like you. Now, what did I mean by first generation? If an animal eats this plant, and then you eat the animal, it's second generation. The plant has been digested by the animal, and then you ate the animal. So it becomes second generation. In other words, the chlorophyll, which you really needed directly in your body, have been, di have been diluted. The impact has been completely eliminated. So when you eat all this meat, you create a lot of problem in your system because the body does not recognize it. You need chlorophyll in your system because that's what you were made. So if I were to name humans, I would have called them the sons and daughters of the sun, which is exactly what we call Jesus, we call it the Son, S-U-N, the Son of God. And then the Catholic turns it into S-O-N, the Son of God. I want you to kind of let that sink in your head. I'm not making it up. You go read it up, turn your computer on and type in Horus. You see it is a fact that every time you call Jesus the Son of God, you are referring to S-U-N. And everywhere they have the picture of Jesus, they always have this halo around him to show you that they are referring to him. And then, I like the Catholics because they didn't try to hide facts. When you see a Catholic cross, most churches have the cross and they have the circle around it, telling you we're here worshiping the rotation of the earth around the sun. So, basically, <laughs> that's what it is. So when you go to church, just know you're worshiping yourself. You see, you are worshiping the thing that makes you strong and healthy. And in fact, if you remove the sun, the plants will die, everything else will collapse in, this, in, in, in nature. So, the Asian people figured that, okay, since we have the impact of this sun so strong in our lives, we're just going to now worship it, and it has not changed. So the ancient Egyptians call it the Horus, and Horus and the Isis, they fight. During the day, the sun shines, and in the night, the day comes. So they say that then the, the Isis or whatever, the uh, uh, Osiris, Osiris had now beaten the sun, and in the morning, the sun beat the So it's a fight between the dark and the darkness, dark and the light, which is the fight between good and evil. So this whole idea, when the Persians came to power, they called their own Mitra, where you got the name Metropolitan from. Now, all these things are showing you the importance of the diet when you decide to go vegan. So, I want to talk a little bit about the salt. That salt, those ancient salt, were so important in the old days that slaves, actually any country that have a lot of salt, were considered so rich just like having gold. The name salary came from salt. When they said, I'll pay you so and so because salt was the means of, uh, um, uh, it was a currency. So when they say salary, it came from the word salt. And when they say to you, oh, he's not what he's, Salt. We're not referring to the processed white salt 
that you eat today. We are referring to the ancient salt. And why is this ancient salt so important? It's because that is raw sun. And when you dilute it and drink it, it helps you to alkalinize your whole system. Now, if you, if you get any of the uh, Himalayan salt and dilute it overnight and then take a teaspoon, one fourth of the teaspoon and introduce it in your water and drink it, it alkalinizes your body completely. Turns in from acid to alkaline, get it back to 7.5 or 8.5 pH in your system, which is a balance where you're supposed to be just by taking the salt. Why is that thing so strong in your system? Because that's the ingredients we all are made with. The other thing about it is a woman couldn't have a baby if you do not have vitamin D in your system. Because the baby's immune system requires vitamin D. And when you get older, your body could no more absorb vitamin D. Therefore, you got to find a way to augment that. So by just taking a little bit of raw salt and drinking that, and people will be like, wow, salt is supposed to cause high blood pressure. No, not that type of salt. But the processed salt causes high blood pressure and all this. Why? Because all the ingredients has been removed. Now, let's talk about mineral, your Gatorade. You know, that was developed at the uh, University of Florida football team doctor. They were playing the ghettos. The, the ghettos, you know, you know, I have an accent, so I'm pronouncing it in a way you probably don't know. The, the ghettos, G-A-T-O-R, the University of Florida football team. So they were playing, and they were very tired. So their doctor developed this thing, and he gave it to them, and they drank it. So they went and uh, were able to play very well. So then they made business out of it. That's what you, where you got your Gatorade from. And what is in that Gatorade that you drink, supposedly mineral, that was salt, basically. That's what you're drinking. So if I want to sell some product now, I'll get me some water and introduce a quarter teaspoon of Himalayan salt water into it. And you buy it and you pay me good money for it. I'll just put a little sugar to, or a little green stuff and then give it one fancy name. You will drink it and it really works and I will make good business. Now, what is it in this salt? It has 79 to 80 different ingredients. Talk about all your minerals. They are in this one bit of salt because you're talking about the sun cooking this water for millions and millions and millions of years. So whenever you take that little salt and put it in water, you're taking the whole mineral complex, 80 different types. Now, the incidence of uh, thyroid, um, they get them out of the water, out of the sea. The area you dry them, they may absorb some pollutants in the air and pollute it. So the Himalayan salt is always my preference. So the sea salt um, is also good, but there's chances they may have absorbed some pollution from the air. And if you go to the ocean and you take the water from the ocean and then somebody goes in your womb and takes the fluid and tests them, they too have equal constituents of minerals. If you're healthy. And the salt and miso, what is the source of that salt? Which one? Miso. Oh, that's the that's from that's a sea salt. That's a sea salt because originally, you know, I don't know what uh, you read in in Genesis actually, but the fact is that we were we got a lot from the sea. If you read where it says that in the beginning, God created the earth and it was without form, and it was void. And everywhere was covered with water. And that the Spirit of God was floating upon that water. 
That's what Genesis wrote, right? And all out of that water, nobody reads about that. Out of that whole landless space where everything started to, to grow from. But there was light. God said, let there be light. And there was light, which was this sun. And then he divided the sun, the day into two, call one part the light, the day, and call the other day the night. All these things, which ones come before the other? The light. What about seaweed? Do you think that's a good seaweed? Yes, a good seaweed, what makes good uh, seaweed is because it has all these minerals in it. You know, and you have iodine. But what you're not being told is that you don't have to spend all this money trying to buy minerals. Nobody is trying to tell you the truth because you will be losing, they will be losing lots and lots of money. So whenever you drink chlorophyll, you're also taking raw sun. But I always prefer the one that's, that have lasted for millions of years because if you run out of Himalayan salt, you couldn't make it in 20, 30, 40, 50 years. We're talking about millions and millions and millions of years. That's what it took the earth to make that. So when, whenever you touch the Himalayan crystal salt, you, you're looking at millions of years, 100 million, some say 200 million. That's how ancient that thing is. And you talk about just giving your body a whole uh, revitalization. So, let me go back to that sea water. If you go to the water, to the ocean, and you change the composition, you tilt the minerals, you either add or you take out, the fish will begin to die. Now, when you go to toilet, like I just used the restroom, and you pee, if you collect that pee, that's your urine, and you test the, 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 the constituents, and then you get your coconut water and test it, exactly the same. So if you're smart, as you're peeing out minerals here, you'll be adding here. And what is diabetes? Diabetes is your ability to pee off all the mineral out of your system. That's what diabetes is. You can't see because the, the ingredient, the mineral responsible for your eyes is peed off. Your joint, you peed everything off. That's what it is. I guess nobody has ever still told anybody. I couldn't understand that word. What was the word you said? I said, when you pee, yeah. you pee away the whole B complex in your system. Yeah. And when you drink like coconut water or you take the mineral salt water, the salt water, or you drink the chlorophyll, you replace those minerals. When you get and when you suffer from diabetes, you say, I have an accent, so I'm trying my best. <laughs> but I know I speak better than uh, Henry Kissinger and Arnold Schwarzenegger, so I, I'm trying. <laughs> I couldn't understand what Henry Kissinger was saying. I listened to him over and over and over, so I, I think I'm doing better than, than him. So, But anyway, so the, any time you have diabetes, you lack minerals, period. You have peed away. Yeah, yeah, you peed away every mineral. You can see all your uh, axantine, astantine, and all the tin, tin, tins. You pee them off. There's this teaching that goes around all over the place. Oh, you drink, drink eight ounces of water. Water without mineral is useless. You're just going to encourage more peeing. And why are you peeing? Because the body is expelling it out of your system because it has, it's completely dead water. So when you take these things and introduce it, either uh, chlorophyll or salt or coconut or whatever, when you put it, your body says thank you. It nourishes your system. You see? So this is uh, one other thing. Whenever you take the mineral salt, let's say the mineral water, it's like you plugged 
your body to a generator to charge your body. You energize your whole cell, the cells in your body, physically, physiologically, and spiritually. Now, when people are dead, you can't enjoy anything. I don't know if anyone, the only time people get to enjoy the fact that they are alive is when they're having sex and you're about to come. I said it, somebody was laughing about it. When you're about to come, you feel all of this energy in your body. Ah, 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 you're screaming. That's the only time you can feel the life force in your body. So your system, you're charging yourselves, not only for sexual pleasure, but also you can hear voices. Because your third eye, which your government put in your money, which is actually an Egyptian stuff, okay? So the third eye, which is right here. Okay, so when you see the pyramid, all you're looking at is right here. See, you do, you do, do, do like this, you're getting a pyramid right here. This is the third eye right here. So when you take this stuff, what it does is that you take the raw sun, the raw sun helps your pineal gland, and the pineal gland helps your antenna, which is all this hair. And you can feel something. Like Africans, I told somebody you could be in one village, like 1,000 miles away, you could hear the thumb of somebody coming. You could hear their footsteps. 1,000 miles away, because you're highly alert. Your cells are alert. So when they make you brush your teeth with this fluoride, fluoride calcifies the pineal gland. You can't hear nothing. So you can watch Jerry Springer all day just because you have no sensation anywhere. And you probably, to make it, you'll be watching pornographic and you'll be having people, watching people having fun. But you're not having fun. You fool yourself you're having fun. This is other people's enjoyment, sensation. And you're watching it. Because you're dead. But when your cells are all active, trust me, trust me, your enjoyment of life will be enhanced. So, as an African, I always tell people, I wish you food is chlorophyll. For anybody, including our melanin people like me, black folks, no matter what illness you may have suffered, no matter how far away you are, your health has degenerated. All you need is chlorophyll. That's all. That's our ancient food. That's what we're made of. And that's what our food is all based on. So when you come out, they feed you slave food. You eat meat. You get all this joint problem. You get all this arthritis. You get all this problem. Because that's slaughter food you're eating because you're about to be slaughtered mentally, physically, and psychologically. So, but when you are able to uh, increase your pineal gland ability to see things, when somebody sits there and lies, you'll be like, you're lying, and I'm not going to believe you. Because you're able to decipher between the truth and falsehood. So, that's what I just wanted to share. Uh, you know, we have a very short time, but I hope you gain something from it.
Stay.